It is the answer she wanted, but prayed would never come. Today, Christina Moore says mother took flowers to the spot where her daughter's remains were found in Anna. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Seguirre. John is off. After nearly four years, the search is over. Christina Morris was kidnapped from the shops at Legacy in Plano in 2014. Now investigators say bones found nearly 30 miles away in Anna belong to Christina. News 8's Kevin Reese is live in Plano where this case began. And Kevin, we just heard a very emotional news conference from police and we heard from Christina's mother. We certainly did, and you're going to hear from her in just a few moments. But we can report that uh, sources did confirm this to us earlier today, and Plano Police made it official just a few moments ago. The long three year search for Christina Morris is now over. As you talked about, our first indication of that came earlier today when Christina Morris's mom, Johnny Hare, arrived at the crime scene in Anna with two other women and bearing a bouquet of flowers to place near the site where her daughter's remains were found yesterday. And in just the past half hour, Plano police did make it official. The remains found accidentally by a work crew at that site in Anna are indeed Christina. Remember this nightmare for them started three years ago. She disappeared August 2014, last seen at the shops at Legacy in Plano. And the last images of her taken by a surveillance camera in a parking garage on the night of her disappearance as she walked with Enrique Orochi in a, an acquaintance that she grew up with. They had been partying with friends that night. DNA evidence in the trunk of his car and other circumstantial evidence that put him in the Anna area that night led to his kidnapping conviction and a sentence of life in prison even before Christina's body was found. As we said moments ago, Christina's mother spoke at this news conference thanking Plano police and talking now about how yesterday is indeed the worst day of her life. Thank you. To all Plano Police Department, for everybody out in society that has stood by our side since day one and not given up with us, our family and loved ones and have fought just as hard as us to make sure that Christina was brought home. This, I must say, is the most difficult day that I've ever faced in my entire life. I know my daughter, I know our daughter is in a better place. I know she's in heaven. I know she's proud of us for not giving up. I know she's smiling. A difficult message for a mom to deliver a speech that she hoped she would never have to give even these three years later. Now the question, will it be worth it? Will they try to uh, put Enrique Roche on trial again? He's sentenced to life in prison for kidnapping. Will it be worth it to go through this all again to try him for murder? Those are questions Plano police will not answer just yet. Right now they're letting the family have their privacy as they move ahead with this continuing investigation. Live in Plano, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. All right, Kevin, thank you.